Hey guys, Jessica Damu here, and I'm wearing a ridiculous robot hat. Because uh, it's a chilly spring day. Today I'm teaching how to remove paint from plastics that you want to dye. And the important thing is to do that outside, even if it's chilly outside. So, you know. Also, gloves. Gloves are important. I like these gloves. These are heavy duty gloves. I get them from the funeral home that I work at. Uh, they got texture unused gloves, except I've used them for acetone. Because acetone's an acid. Don't spill this on yourself, it hurts. Also, recommendation uh, when opening up these types of containers, which you can get this at a hardware store, anywhere, okay? It's easy to get stuff. Sorry for all the traffic. It's I live on a highway. What can you, what can you do, you know? Anyways, uh, opening this, it might spray a little, like uh, the cap. It's hard to open for safety precautions, but you don't want to get it in your eye because blindness is bad. So today I am working on making a custom G armor. I have poured some of this into this glass, which I used to have a lid for. Or I need to find a lid for because it, it will evaporate. I have two shoulders that I'm dying later, so I just need to put those in a safe place. I'm working on removing the paint from the RX-78 version 2 chest because I'm going to be removing, or uh, doing quite a bit with that. There's two types of things you want to use for this. Q-tips for the details and not getting certain parts. But you can also like put a layer of something like uh, wall mounting putty over a part that you want to leave the color on. But cotton balls work pretty well too. I don't actually like these cotton balls because they're so small makes them kind of hard to hang on to. And this acetone will take this factory paint right off. RX-78 out of the way for now. Now, it's useful to know what you should be expecting underneath your plastic. And sometimes you can tell, you know, by looking around and figuring out what parts, you know, aren't painted or whatnot, but sometimes the whole thing's painted, and you won't know until you uh, are done. Again, you want to do this outside. You get a bad headache from acetone. Acetone is not the most toxic thing in the world, but it is toxic. It smells bad as it is. Cotton ball gets full of paint, and you just turn it around doing it. Sometimes to get this really clean, it can, it can take some time. By the way, you don't need, you know, heavy duty gloves for this, but you could buy some like kitchen dishwashing gloves from your local grocery store. That'd be an option. Those sometimes have texture on the fingers as well, which I'll see with the gripping. That's why I like these. Shout out to my boss, Keith. Let me have a pair just for, you know, my hobby stuff. Standard latex gloves just kind of drop stuff. As you can see, the paint is coming off. Now, I know that you might get it on your fingers and touch other parts that you weren't planning on removing the paint off of. I haven't figured out whether I'm taking the paint off this part, so I should probably be careful. Now, when you finally get all the paint off, which, again, process, you want to get the different angles and stuff like that, you're going to need to go over it a few extra times just to get anything that your cotton ball has spread around. Because there's the areas that you already got the, the paint off, but your um, cotton ball has paint on it, so you touch an area that didn't, and now it has you know paint on it. In order to dye plastics, you've got to get the paint off. It looks like I've touched this already. I don't know. Looks like I'm still okay. I'm almost certain I'm taking off the nose, but I'm trying to get the yellow paint off first. I don't think there's a lot more to say to this. You just keep doing it until it's clean. So, uh, this one I'm going to have to use Q-tips. I guess I'll cover the Q-tips part. No Q-tip. See that blue that was on there? 
that's blue that probably was on my glove hand and got on there. So, part of that cleanup. This one probably was never finished being cleaned up. I'm going to get this yellow off of here, too. And because of all these little lines, and I, by golly, I hope my camera's focusing on what I'm doing. I'm going to have to refilm the whole stupid thing. That would be unfortunate. But, you know, feel free to push and jam that in there. Take the side of it and just kind of... To get that paint off. Sometimes you might have to remove joints. I'm probably going to have to remove that joint just to get all of the paint out of there. And that's okay. You just, you know, put it in hot water. Uh, get an awl. It's just a pointy instrument. And you just pop it out. That concludes the tutorial. See you guys next time.